There's no removal equipment. You know, it's funny, you get an old vehicle, right? And it's really rough when you get it. And don't get me wrong, this thing is rough, but it shows how much a vehicle sitting for long periods of time, how bad it is for a vehicle. Like this vehicle is about 10 times smoother, although it is extremely rough. The transmission's rough. Uh, it does the typical Honda engage, unengage the transmission. So you get a bit of a buffering and then you let off and you let it engage and then you can give it gas again. Uh, you know, like, um, that kind of stuff right but it's not as bad it's not as bad you know like it like when you really pour the juice to it like th like this vehicle's at the point where you have to be smooth with it all the time or else you, you're you're just gonna break it you know what i mean um but it's just funny that like even my belt it still squeaks like crazy but nowhere near it did three weeks ago you know so I think a lot of that was just probably from sitting, you know, j j you know, j just just the the jamming up of sitting. Well, look at uh, my truck, Freddie. The all the belt and pulleys and the, the alternator, all that stuff seized up. So you started the engine. What a racket that was! Just the smoke and belt coming off that, like that, just from sitting. And it didn't sit that long. And I had oh, deploy parachute. <laughs> Yeah, I should have probably came in the other end to be honest with you. Probably should have done that, but I didn't. But I should have. So I'm not gonna head to the Walmart. You know when they say for a business, all location, location, location. This Timmy's right here. They must make a killing. Now, this light usually takes a while, but not too bad today. I'm not going to gripe and whine. Like, this is still technically country, right? Right, but like, okay. Like, this is still technically country, but it's like city country to me. If there's a, if there's a light in your town, it's too big. You know, if there's two lights in your town, it's too, too big. Here you gotta watch out for crosswalks, too. We got one in my neighboring town now. It's like it doesn't have a, like a crosswalk, crosswalk, but it's like you're supposed to stop for pedestrians, eh? And like when you're not used to the darn crosswalks, it's like like you're used to the lights, but the crosswalks, it's like you, you, it's like it's so easy to blow by them, not intending to, you know? Yeah. Not admitting to anything. I'm just saying, you know, for regular people, I always pay the law. Okay, that's where it is. See, I could go in there after too. But I, I really want to get all my gifts at uh, Canadian Tire, and I'll tell you why. Because I got a $100 gift certificate there. So if I can knock off two, two or three gifts there, I'd be happy. If I can knock off four gifts there or five gifts, I'd be really, really, really ecstatically happy. So I got to come back here to the mill music after. someone's gonna go or not right like all these people that always try to jump the light I never do that like I just assume someone's gonna like cut me off see that time I was watching for pedestrians of the silver pellet. I'm sure that highlight, that little highway run blew some carbon out of this sucker anyway. Yeah, 
they've got a quite a bit of stuff like like all these small towns they have a lot of nothing up here you know <laughs> but then when you you know but if it's something you need they have it all you know but there's a there's a Renfrew Renfrew is a neat little town anyway like if you had to live in a small town this like a like a city type town at least this would be it you know like I would never want to move to a major city ever again <laughs> you know it's like number one owning a vehicle in the city is like absolute nightmare you know you'd have to be rich because everywhere you park like here you could still park for, well do they have parking meters here I don't know I think in the ma very main main no they don't have parking meters here so like you know you know what I mean like it's still at that level Mind you, this is a bad main drag to park on when it's busy because, like, the traffic stops right here. So you're sitting, you get a good parking spot, but you get a bad, uh, <laughs> long waiting time. Here, so you gotta watch it for that guy. One forty-nine. There's a five cent difference up here uh, at the corner at Storyland Road. What was I at? I was at. Uh, Was at uh, I was at what was I at? I was at 144 something, and at my town in Quebec it was 180 something. So you're telling me <laughs> that's cool. You're telling me that the gas prices are very so much. That there's literally an eight, a forty cent difference uh, from one province to the, you, you know what I mean? Like the gas prices don't fluctuate that much. I used to have a boss, and he used to work at um, like a gas station. He, he, he laid it out. He goes, "What they do in the morning is he says the gas stations in the area just call each other. Yeah, I'm putting my price at this. What are you doing?" And they're like, "Well, well we're putting a price at that." So it's. I think there should be a law. Whatever you bought your gas for, obviously allow for profit, right? That's fine. I have no problem with that. But that you can't change the price until you fill up again. That way you're not changing, you're not gouging. You say, oh yeah, but if I bought the price at this and then uh, the gas went down, then I lose money. No, no, you still charge that until you get the next one, right? And you'll eventually sell all that gas anyway. And it, you know, for as much as it changes, uh, you, 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 trust me, people need gas, they need gas, right? So, yeah, the whole, the whole uh, thing is, a, it's a scam. It's a scam. Oh, look at that nice blue ram. I love that color. That kind of really nice uh, blue. Oh, oh, there's not oh, okay, good. <laughs> See if I can find myself parking spot. Stay green, stay green, stay green. Yeah! Now normally I start off at the dollar store, but this time I'm not going to start off. The, I'm going to start off the Canadian Tire. So I might be able to get everything at the Canadian Tire. I pray I can. If not, to the dollar store I go. But the problem with my nephew is he's now at that age where you can't. Um, you know, buy dollar store junk for him anymore. <laughs> you know, like he's gonna expect something good. He's ten, right? And um, oh, yeah, I get it. it's a better. I actually want to do my Christmas shopping. You can't come in the other way, but I find this one's easier. I don't think today's Black Friday. It is a Friday, but uh, every time I see a yellow ram, I see I think of uh, uh, get out of that guy's way. <laughs> La tonnage. Um, I think of uh, rumblebees. They made one in 2013 as well. Eh? That's cool. Mind you, I think they only made like a handful of them, so limited edition. And <laughs> I can say I swung that one a little bit wide. 
All right, so. I'm gonna drive crazy like everybody else? Or am I gonna use the proper? Well, the. Look at this guy taking up all that space. <laughs> he actually did pretty good though. He's, he's almost in complete.